When it comes to professional hockey, most players find themselves far from home at some point in their careers. But for Barron's right winger Jonathan Chichu, Oklahoma City seems worlds away from his hometown in Moose Factory, Ontario, Canada. Uh, for me, growing up Moose Factory, a little isolated. It was something where, um, where I, you know, we had a close knit family. We hunted, we fished, uh, did a lot of outdoor stuff, and uh, you know, it, it was great to grow up in. It was, it was something where it was a very close knit community. Everybody knew everybody, and uh, you know, everybody looked out for everybody. So it was uh, great as a young kid to grow up in that, and kind of uh, you felt safe, and uh, you know, we were able to parents were able to give you free leave kind of to go out and play and I got a lot of hockey in. And while the tiny island community may have lacked the amenities of larger Canadian cities, Chichu says that the way of life in Moose Factory allowed him to hone his hockey skills nearly every day. You know during the winter school I'd get up in the morning, uh, go to school, come back, play hockey uh, on my outdoor rink till about five and then go to practice and uh, you know skate there for I tried to get on with every group, so <laughs> you know, so I was a little too young uh, sometimes. But once I got a little older, I was able to go on with every group, and uh, you know, it, that was pretty much my typical day. And then sometimes I'd come home and go back on the ice. You know, it all depended on what time I was done, and uh, you know, my parents pretty much gave me free reign to do that. It was, uh, you know, I think something that was constructive, so they were uh, behind me. But for Chichu, chasing a hockey dream as a promising young player meant big sacrifices for him, his family, and the community. You know, I had uh, growing up. You know, we weren't the uh, we weren't the uh, the wealthiest people, so it was uh, you know monetarily it was it was tough. But the community uh, actually rallied behind me for that one and helped me uh, raise money so I could uh, play on uh, some of the teams once I left. Once I turned 14, uh, I left home, like I said, and um, you know it was one of those things. It was a tough decision, I think, for my parents to make to let me leave, and. Uh, you know, it was, but it was something that they knew I was uh, committed to 100%, so they were behind me. And, and Chichu made that community proud, making his way to the San Jose Sharks in the NHL and walking away with the Rocket Richard Trophy after a 56-goal season in 2005. Chichu from Thornton, Jonathan, a nice move around. But after several injury-filled seasons since then, the Barons are hoping that Chichu returns to the form that made him one of the game's best. Like we saw him play last year, and he was an impact guy for Peoria. Uh, but this, but this past summer, he worked really hard. He lost uh, about 10 pounds, and he uh, got a lot stronger. And, and like you can see it on the ice, like he's a very strong player. Um, he's he's getting back to form of where he was, and. Uh, you know, that's something that he wants to, you know, continue to work on. He wants to get back to the NHL, and it's our job to help him get him, uh, get him there. You can't put a price on experience and leadership in your locker room, but uh, he leads by example as well. He's a voice of reason in the room, but uh, he provides some offense for us on the ice, and uh, he's been a welcome addition to our hockey team right now. You know, I worked out hard. I've been, uh, you know, injury-free now for a couple of, for this past year. Uh, you know, I got injured a little bit last year, but uh, not too bad where uh, it affected my training. So uh, for me, the uh, biggest thing was to come in healthy and uh, come in in the best shape that I could. And hopefully I make an impression. And, you know, you always want to get noticed by the scouts up there. But until Chichu catches the eye of the Edmonton Oilers, he'll call Oklahoma City home. And for the proud Cree Indian, the Sooner State and its rich Native American culture makes for familiar surroundings for a player over 1,200 miles from home. Uh, definitely interesting. You don't run into a lot of a lot of the Native American cultures like this around uh, in the states. So uh, back home, maybe I'd see it a little more. But uh, he, well, I just know where it is a little more, I guess. Coming here, I didn't know it all, and then uh, you know, kind of. Uh, was able to connect with some people. Uh, you know, my dad knows some people down here, so it was, uh, they were able to kind of share. And uh, you know, it's something where it's quite a population here, and uh, it's exciting to to be around. It's uh, you know, and you know, they they've been coming to all my games. So, you know, see a lot more uh, familiar faces. <laughs>